Good. Good, right there. Let your head fall. Perfect. There's the tension on that joint. And you're gonna feel a release there, okay? Right. Smooth. Good? Yeah. Sweet. And release easy. Awesome. And then I'm just gonna roll and I'm gonna adjust your upper back here like that. Good. How you feeling? Great. Great? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>Hey everybody, this is Dr. Warren Kelstein here at Kelstein Chiropractic. Um, I'm with Bree. This is our, like, in, in, we're inviting all the CEAs in. <laughs> Dr. Nick's behind Bill, and we appreciate Dr. Nick. <laughs> uh, we're bringing all our CEAs in. Um, wanted to introduce you. Um, you're a big part of our organization, and it gives me a chance in, outside of all the, the busyness, right? Yes. The steady flow of work that we do here um, to, to take, take a second so that I can say I'm grateful for you, right? Um, and also show you I'm grateful for you by working on you a little bit um, outside of work. So that's one part of it. Bree is on her way to somewhere in the medical field, right? Somewhere. Yeah, it's coming Still from. Exploring. Did really well with, in school, and now she's in this good position uh, because of that. Because a lot of the fields that you jump into after undergraduate are competitive. Um, mm -hmm. to, to make a choice for herself as it relates to being a PA or NP or chiropractic, physical therapy, <laughs> any of those in, in that world. More, more PT, right? Kind of, yeah. And more PA, really, than anything, right? Physician yeah. and assistant. Um, I don't think you've talked too much about chiropractic, but I throw it in there because it's, it's a great field if you like body work and as well as if you like um, the, if PT and chiropractic can go hand in hand, for sure. Okay. So let me work on Bree and I'll catch you up with what... Um, she originally came to see me. I recruited her. Uh, she was a patient. I was mm -hmm. like, Bree, you should work here. <laughs> um, she did a really great job right off the bat, um, just from a... Uh, engaging with staff and just with, with just, we just knew she'd be a good fit, right? So I did my best to make sure that she had an opportunity here, and, and she's been great uh, with it as a CA, right? She's a, she's getting hours to apply to school in the medical community, or excuse me, medical field, and these hours here in our chiropractic office. Now bring your head back for me. So she was coming in with some chronic neck shoulder pain she was doing a little bit of pt for it wasn't getting good results um, she worked in a, in a pt clinic and had a good experience there worked with some really great people um, but as it relates to her injury her problem she just wasn't getting a ton of treatment on it um, that was that was beneficial for a long um, period of time bring your head back and then we started working on it combining dry needling Head straight down for me, Brie. We're just going to work the erector spine group first, and then I'm going to switch into the shoulder muscles, okay? All right. And head back. Combining um, soft tissue work, dry needling a little bit, right? I, I just kind of a little bit different in my approach with dry needling Brie, just because her body's really responsive to it. Head back for me. And then um, chiropractic air in the form of adjustments. And then we kind of dabbled in PT for just a bit there for her. And then she jumped on board and then just with work, things just get busy. Um, we really haven't taken the time to, to treat her, bring her head back. So I'm taking that down, head down for me. I'm working around this kind of pattern that Brie gets and she'll say like, you know, it's frustrating, I know. Um, when you get this, especially when she lifts overhead in this area, she gets this kind of chronic pulling pain first rib irritation up into the neck area. She gets pain in that area as well. And um, this is kind of classic, bring your head back. I call it room for improvement in the shoulder <laughs> neck area or shoulder girdle, but it's really a shoulder dysfunction and with, with a certain activity. She's got a poor pattern around the shoulder when she goes to load it, okay? And a lot of things can drive that. Um, say it's like a chronic activity like sitting at a desk, or say it's just an injury in the shoulder. But uh, how we got here is one thing. Where we're going is another thing, <laughs> right? Yes, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, that's the goal. Um, head back for me, no doubt about it. We gotta work for it, head down. And I've seen this type of problem get better with a certain um, approach in our office. That's uh, continued work from a pain standpoint, making sure this is calm, and then implementing uh, some of the right type of PT. Reach your arm forward and we can show you what that looks like for her in some future videos. We're going to do a, um, a series with Bring, bring Your Head Back, Head Down. Just like we're going to do it with Jordan on her hip, we're going to do it with Bree on her shoulder. I'm going to show you how I do 
uh, from a clinical standpoint, how I treat it and how we apply physical therapy in a step-by-step -step process, not only just to get it feeling better, because that's one thing. We know we can do that, right? It's mm -hmm. about keeping it that way so that when you go to use it, it doesn't get aggravated. doesn't hurt again, yeah. That's where you get really <laughs> good results. Head down. Reach, reach. Because we got a pattern to these things. Good. Head back. Good. Head down. Bree, when I hit this spot right here, what does that feel like for you? Um, I kind of feel like it's on my arm a little bit. You feel a pulling sensation here? So when I work on Bree around the rhomboids, she's got a little bit of dorsal scapular nerve impingement back here. And so when I pull on that area, she can get a little bit of referred discomfort here. So I want to keep it to a minimum, okay? Okay. Because um, I know that can get you sometimes. Yeah. Head back for me. But it's where I want to be. Head down. Good. And relax. I'm going to do the work for you now. Loose. We'll go through a little bit more of a detailed exam with Bree on, on film. Head down for me all the way. It's doctor. Good, relax. Now I want you to bring your hand out, head forward. Good. And then I'm going to work on the supraspinatus nerve. Hand comes through and put your hand right on that bottom hip. And then I want you to roll your hand up, take your head down. And I'm doing uh, a little bit of nerve flossing, but also ART on this left shoulder here in all these different positions, okay? Head back for me. So if you're a student watching, head down. ART's got a lot of uh, good nerve protocols that incorporate uh, nerve flossing as well as with soft tissue work, which I think are really effective. Head back, good, head down. If you get good at those and combine it with some McKenzie exercises and then can really, you know, chip away your ability to stabilize people. DNS is a great way to do that. You can combine some of those things. You can pretty much treat uh, most musculoskeletal issues uh, using those three different approaches, along with chiropractic care, of course, and adjustments. Uh, relax. Doing okay so far, Brie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for real? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Just, for Just some of the stuff yeah, I yeah. feel like, yeah, Pulling my sensation. Arm. Okay, okay that's what I was wondering. It's not like tingly, like pins and needles, it's just but tension. it's like a, yeah. Okay, go on your back for me. Right there. So we'll get you, let me get you adjusted here, okay? In our next video, we'll talk a little bit about neural tension and why you're getting that in that girdle. Okay. Right. So turn your head to your left for me. There you go, rest up top, okay? Hold on to my back there. There you go. Breathe in. And then I'm just going to roll and I'm going to adjust your upper back here like that. Okay. Comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. And I want you to turn that way. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Okay. On this side. Hold on to my back. Good. You're going to feel it right here in this TL junction here. Okay. I got you. Good. A little more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Nice and smooth. Okay, there's the tension. And release easy. Awesome. Good. All feels good, right? Oh, good. That felt so good. <laughs> and easy here, okay? No, no, don't do anything there. I'll, I'll fix it in that for you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. part of the work, okay? <laughs> you gotta relax. Uncross your legs for me. I'll just relax it. Perfect. And then let everything go. Good. Good. Okay. So you're going to feel traction like this and this, and then an adjustment this way, okay? Okay. Are you good? Mm hmm. Okay. So here, here. And I know you're good. I just want to double check, okay? Let your head fall. Perfect. There's the tension on that joint. And you're going to feel a release there, okay? Right. Smooth. Good? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Ooh. Last bit. Almost there. Okay. Now, trust me, in the hair, it's getting better and better. It's right? so good, right? <laughs> there it is. Come face down for me. And relax on it. Alright. I'm gonna pull your hips back just a tiny Okay. And loose. So a lot of 
pressure here. Easy, easy. Good. Good, right there. Good, now I want you to just drop those shoulders, okay? I know it's tender here. Good, just checking. Right there a little bit, loose. Good. Good, you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. case a little bit more when um, I don't have a patient waiting for me, okay? Okay. How you feeling? Great. Great? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I appreciate your work today. Right. Thank you. Have a good night. Good luck with school tonight. Thanks for watching. Thank Subscribe. You. Subscribe. Boom.